This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment at Unscripted. We're at ATA, mc and We're at the Peterbilt booth. They have a really unique truck here this year. Of course, they have their uh, EV behind me. Uh, battery electric EV. Uh, they've got the Model 589 and my Model 579 trying true, but they also have a DOF truck here that has a pretty unique powertrain. So we're going to stop in the booth and see what the lowdown is. Hey, good to see you again. Thanks for taking the time. You got a unique truck here in your AT, ATA MCE booth this year. This is a a DOF truck, but it has an interesting powertrain. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, it is a really neat truck, especially for this audience. So we, we took the opportunity here to bring over a DOF XF truck from Europe. It's a sister brand owned by PACR, uh, produced in Europe, distributed throughout the world with production in other locations as well. Yeah. And um, this particular unit has a hydrogen internal combustion MX engine. Okay. In it. It's a demonstrator in order to uh, show the feasibility of that product yeah. as well as uh, raise a little awareness. Right, so PACCAR MX engine, it's fueled with hydrogen uh, then. What does that mean in terms of like emissions or compared to fuel cell or, you know, this is all new, so it's a little confusing. What's, what's the difference here? Yeah, so for, you, you hit on it. You know, we really believe there's gonna be various solutions to the zero emissions transportation industry right. and there's a different places these different solutions are going to fit yeah and so this this hydrogen internal combustion engine uses hydrogen as a fuel not okay. unlike a natural gas okay. powered unit today okay and uh, it produces zero carbon so it's a zero carbon emission solution and a very very simple after treatment okay so should be a relatively similar experience to running a truck that our fleets are used to today Right, yeah, the because as the combustion platform, and you know, to that point, uh, fuel cell is in development, but it's going to take quite a while to come to the market. Um, kind of a decarbonization journey, right, for fleets that want to reduce their emissions. This is a this is a way to kind of get started with hydrogen sooner, maybe than waiting around for for fuel cell development to become more approachable in the market. It seems. Yeah, the timing is still sort of TBD and in the development phase. Yeah. It's got a ways to go yet before it's really ready for full scale production. We wanted to go ahead and demonstrate this platform yeah. now, raise awareness for it and make sure people are aware that this is a technology that's really right on the horizon. Right. Interesting. Uh, stepping back real quick, just just so we can keep this all clear, too. So PACAR owns DOP. This is European. What's it mean to Peterbilt here in the U.S.? Yeah, well, the real key here to Peterbilt in the U.S. is the shared powertrain development. PACCAR has a lot of resources, a lot of expertise in powertrain development globally. And our powertrain solutions are shared between the different brands um, around the world. Yeah, very cool. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it.